Now that we have looked at strategy selection a little bit, let us look at strategy integration. Even if the agent selects a particular strategy, it is not necessarily stuck with a strategy. As the problem solving evolves, it may well decide to shift from one strategy to another strategy. As an example, consider that for a given problem, metacognition decides to select the strategy of case-based reasoning. Now, case-based reasoning spawns a number of subtasks, retrieval, adaptation, evaluation, and storage. Metacognition can now examine the requirements for each of the subtasks. And then, for each of the subtasks, it may decide on some strategy. For example, for the task of adaptation, metacognition may pick the method of case-based reasoning recursively, or it may pick the method of rules to adapt a case, or it may use models for the case adaptation. If metacognition picks the method of rule-based reasoning, then note the metacognition has shifted from the method of case-based reasoning overall to the method of rule-based reasoning for a subtask of case-based reasoning. We can also use a similar analysis at the next lower level. Suppose that metacognition decides to pick the method of rule-based reasoning for doing the case adaptation. Now the question becomes what rule to apply, rule one, two, or three. We can imagine meta rules that select which rule to apply under the given condition. We have come across the use of metacognition for strategy integration earlier. In this Bloch's micro world, we saw how mean sense analysis can reach a cul-de-sac. When the cul-de-sac happens, metacognition may set up a new reasoning goal and select the strategy of problem reduction for resolving the cul-de-sac. When problem reduction then sets up four independent goals, we may revert back to mean sense analysis to achieve each goal independently. In this particular case, we have integrated mean sense analysis and problem reduction, and the reasoning has shifted between these two strategies in a seamless way.